once again, that's gonna hurt for a while. What was that? Hmm, must have been nothing. I wonder where I am. And I wonder where Doogie is. Hey, what's that? Hey, there's Doogie. I've got to catch Doogie. Where did Doogie go? That's not good. Well, what do you know? There's two of them. Let's follow that one. Boy, it sure moves around a lot. There it goes into the brush. Let's see what kind of animal it is, shall we? This animal is called the red ruffed lemur. Now isn't that special? The red ruffed lemur is a type of monkey and is very rare. There are many different types of lemur monkeys and the red ruffed lemur is just one type. Think of it like this. Imagine an ice cream cone. Just like there are different flavors of ice cream, like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, there are also different flavors of lemurs. So the red ruffed lemur is kind of like, like a scoop of strawberry lemur. Wow, look at those eyes. They're beautiful. If this animal were any cuter, it would be a puppy. Take a look at its nose. It's long and narrow which gives the lemur great smelling ability. This comes in handy when communicating with other lemurs, but we'll get to that later. The red ruffed lemur spends most of its time in trees and bushes. This is great news because this is where its food is. No, not that kind of food. Leaves and fruit are their kind of food. As you can see, they use their hands to grab and hold the food so they can munch on it. Unlike the Siamang ape, which uses its arms to move through the trees, the lemur uses both its arms and legs. If you look closely, you'll see it has wide fingers and toes. These wide fingers and toes, along with a long bushy tail, help the lemur balance as it moves across the branches. Lemurs have many ways to communicate with their fellow lemurs. No, they don't use a telephone. But they do communicate with their voices by using at least 12 different sounds. This warns other lemurs of nearby predators, such as snakes. earlier when I said lemurs use their sense of smell to communicate with each other? Well, it works like this. Lemurs have scent glands on their... <clears throat> how do I put this gently? On their rumps. As they move along branches and vines, they leave their scent. Then, when other lemurs pass by, they smell those odors and can tell that another lemur has been there. Boy, after all that activity, sometimes it's nice to put your feet up and relax. Wow, look at the color of its fur. It sure is bright and red. I see how it got the name Red Ruffed Lemur. Do you? That's right. It's named after the thick ruff around its neck, which is red. Now, suppose its fur were a different color, like, say, green we would have to call it the green ruffed lemur. Or, what if its fur were blue? We would have to call it the blue ruffed lemur. That just doesn't look right. 
We'll stick with the red ruffed lemur. Holy macaroni! It's the Dukester. Stay right there, buddy. I'm coming to get ya. Rut row. Ugh. I really have to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs>